Good morning class. This is Mamado. Welcome to Mamado Classroom. Our topic for today is about ratio. Q. What is ratio? Ratio is a pair of numbers that compares two quantities. Example, number of yellow of M&M &M in a box compared to green M&M. &M. So we have yellow and green M&M. &M. So let us count. How many yellow and green M&M? &M? So we have six yellow and three green M&M. &M. So the ratio of yellow to green M&M &M is six to three. Now, what is the simplest form for 6 to 3? So, we need to get the biggest factor or the largest factor. So, we have 3. So, 3 divided by, or 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, the answer is 2 to 1. Okay? So, the ratio of yellow to green, M and M, is 2 to 1. Okay, another example class. We have red and orange M and M. So, let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So we have 8 red. And how many orange? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 4 orange. So we have the ratio of red to orange M&M &M, is 8 to 4. And now we need to simplify this. 8 over 4. We need to get the common factor for this. So we have the common factor is 4 and 4. 4 times 2 and 4 times 1. So, cancel 4 over 4. So, what is left is 2 over 1 or 2 is to 1. So, the ratio of red to orange, M&M, &M, is 2 is to 1. Okay? Okay, simplifying ratios. So, in the example, M&M... &M, we change 3 to 3 to 2 to 1. This is called simplifying a ratio. We did it by dividing each number by 3. So 3 was the largest common factor for vote number. So we have 6 and so the largest number is 3. So we can divide it, no? So 6 divided by 3, the answer is 2. Then 3 divided by 3 is 1. So the answer is 2 to 1. Okay, we have here sharing an amount in a given ratio. So Spongebob and Pikachu share a 16 pieces of donuts in a ratio of 1 to 3. So we have 16 pieces of donuts. So let us see the sharing of donuts of Spongebob and Pikachu. So we have 1, 
to 3. This means for every 3 donuts, Pikachu gets, Spongebob gets 1. So let us count. So 3 for Pikachu, 1 for Spongebob, another 3 for Pikachu, and 1 donuts for Spongebob, and 3 again for Pikachu, and 1 for Spongebob, and the last we have 3 for Pikachu, and 1 for Spongebob. Now, let us count the donuts. So, Spongebob has four donuts and Pikachu gets 12 donuts. Okay, we have Pikachu and Spongebob share in 16 pieces of donuts in, a, in the ratio of 1 to 3. Another way to think of this, 1 to 3 is shares. So Pikachu gets 3 shares, while Spongebob get one, gets 1 share. So, so actually, there are 4 shares. 16 donuts shared by 4. 16 div divided by 4 is 4 in a share. So, we have 3 times 4 and 2, 3. So, in Spon Spongebob gets 1 times 4 share. So, we have 4 to 12. Now, sharing the amount in a given ratio. Pikachu and Spongebob share a 16 pieces of donuts in a ratio of 1 to 3. So we have 4 to 12 and 1 to 3. How did we arrive at 1 to 3? So 4, so we have 4 over 12. This is the fraction form of ratio. So the big, uh, the biggest uh, factor is four. So four divided by four is one, and twelve divided by four is three, or one to three. Okay. Okay, class. I want you to try this. Simplify the following ratio. We'll give you time to think and answer the problem. Your time starts now. Okay class, let us check your answer. So we have 4 to 2 is 2 to 1. 10 to 4 is 5 to 2. 7 to 4 to 24 is 1 to 4. 5 to 35 is 1 to 7. And 6 to 18 is 1 to 3. Okay, let us see if this is correct. So we have 4 over 2 and the common factor is 2. So 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 2 divided by 2 is one. Okay, your answer is correct. Another one, we have 10 over 4. So 10, the common factor for this 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Correct. Another one is 7 over 24. The common factor for this is 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 24 divided by 7 is 
four, four. So one over four. Okay, correct. One to four. So we have five. Five over. So we have five over thirty-five. The common factor for this is five. So five divided by five is one, and five divided by uh, thirty-five divided by five is seven. Okay, the answer is correct. Another one we have six and eighteen. So. The big or the common factor for this is six. So six divided by six is one, and eighteen divided by six is three. Okay, your answer is correct. Very good. Okay, now class, I want you to keep in mind. Ratio is a pair of numbers that compares two quantities. To express ratios, we need to express it in their simplest form. Okay class, I hope you learned something today. This is Mamado. See you on our next lesson. Thank you. Bye.